Okay, so we're looking at uh, a way of arranging information and this uh, technique is called the Venn Diagrams. And it's just a way of looking at how many people like to watch one, or who like to do one thing or the other or both. Okay, so I've got a survey, I've got 20 people, 12 people like AFL, 9 watch NRL and 4 people like watch neither. And the question I'd like to ask is how many people like to watch both? And so this information can be represented on the Venn Diagram. So just put the heading Venn Diagrams and then come across to the next page. So here's our data again. <coughs> Excuse me. And what we're going to do is try to put the numbers uh, inside the box. Um, first of all, this little squiggly E just means the universe, universal set. So it just means everything that can happen. Okay. So what we do is we start off with the people who are outside the circle. So those four people are outside. So we can put the four there. So instead of having 20 people, I've only got 16 people who are left to go inside, go inside the circles. Okay, so it's only, only 16 are inside because four are outside. So I look at those number of people and I've got 21. So that looks like 21 people have to go inside the circles, but there's only 16 people. So what we do is we go 21 minus 16 equals 5, and so that 5 is the overlap between the two things. So that means that 5 goes in there. Um, and then once I've got the 5, I can go back to the original information. So that means 5 plus 7 is 12. So there's my 12 AFL players, uh, uh, watchers. And 4 goes there because there's my 9 and there's my 20 people. 7 plus 5 plus 4 plus 4 equals 20. And then later on, the next video, we'll talk about, you know, what's the probability of, you know, someone watching something. So we can turn these into probabilities, but at the moment we're just putting numbers. So can you copy that and come across when you're ready? Okay, so can you have a go at this one yourself? It's the same question with different words. Um, draw the box and then put the numbers in and then when you're ready, come back live. Okay, so we start off with the box. We put a little squiggly E, which represents everything that can happen. Bachelor, survivor. Okay, so the first thing we do is we go to the people who don't do anything. So that seven goes outside. So we've got 20 people. We've got 20 people minus seven equals 13. So there's 13 people who are gonna go inside the circles. I look at those numbers and I've got 21. So I go 21 minus 13 equals eight. So eight is in the double up, okay? Then I go back to the information. There's 11 people, but I've already got eight. So there's three. There's 10 people, but I've already got eight, so that's two. So they're your answers, okay? So then, like, as I said, like, so we'll do it properly, but say the probability of someone watching Survivor is 10 out of 20, which is a half, but the probability they watch both would be eight out of 20, which equals, uh, Two fifths. Okay, so we'll do we'll we'll do this on a proper video, but that's just how you could le lead on to other questions. Okay, so there's ways of asking questions using mathematical notation. So this no notation is called set notation. Okay, so I'm just looking at two events because we could have more, but it, let's say it's only two events. So if I'm looking at something about A or B, we use this symbol which is a U, and that just means the union. And in English, it means A or B B or both, okay? So A or B, so if you go back to the previous question, if I've got A union B, is A or B or both? So to B, everything except those, so there'd be 13 people, okay? If I want A and B, the symbol is this upside down U, and that means intersection, and that means it's the overlap, okay? So A or B, A and B. So A or B is A or B or both, but the intersection is just the overlap. Okay, so copy that down, we'll have a look at some questions. Oh, so I've got a little bit more notation. So uh, we've had this before, this idea, the complement idea. Okay, we had that in a previous video. So if you have a dash, it's not a one, it just means not A, this one is not B. So what we do is we read in here, we've got A or B, so we've got A or B, but that means 
knots, and this is A and B, A and B, but that is knots. Okay, so copy that down and we'll have a look at a question, what, that, what it looks like. Okay, so here's some information, who knows what A and B are, but there, there are my numbers. So, the question I'm asking, <coughs> excuse me, is how many people are in A? Okay, so we'll start off with the first one. So A is that those two numbers, so there's seven people, okay? Uh, if I'm looking at A and B, so that means overlap, so it's just that number. Okay, A or B equals A, B, and the overlap, so it's five, seven, ten, so I've got ten people. Okay, so next one is not A, so there's A, so not A is those two people, so I've got four. Okay, uh, next one, a little bit trickier, I've got A or B, so there's A or B, all those numbers, so, but I want the not, so there's A or B, so there's the not, which is the one, and the last one is the hardest one. No, it's not really, it's not really hard. Okay, there's those two people, those two people are A and B, so the not is those five, those three, and that one. So five plus three is eight, eight plus one is nine. And I think that's the end of it. Okay, so that's the start, and we'll do another video on probability in the next video. Thanks.